Welcome to our fourth BBC Intro Cams Essentials. This week, you might notice we've gone for some extra props. That is because we're in the living room for some workouts. Everyone's been getting creative. I've seen so many online about how people can stay fit indoors. And that's exactly what we've asked our acts to do tonight. First up is Fionn. How are you doing, Fionn? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. So um, you've had to come back from uni and finish your studies from home. What's that experience been like for you? I mean, it's, it was difficult because my course is very about making things. So obviously I make clothes and all that kind of stuff, sportswear even, if you believe it or not. But um, So it was difficult. So my project did consist of me completely making this whole outfit um, on a tiny little machine that I had at home that I used to use when I was 13. Um, so it was difficult, but we got there in the end, and it was just a completely new experience. So it wasn't it wasn't too bad, no. Um, and what, what's it been like being away from your base? You know, you're based a lot up in your uni, and you do a lot of recording up there. What's it been like, you know, coming home and spending a lot more time down here with your family and sort of away from that recording situation? It's been... It has been absolutely wonderful because obviously everybody loves to spend time with their family. I'm very, very close with mine. So um, it was lovely to spend time. It was high, quite difficult to start off with, I'm not going to lie, because obviously we had to get back into the routine of living together again because I've lived away for so long. Um, I think the hardest part of coming home was being so far away from HQ where I do all my recording and all of my, like my HQ familia, they're all there as well. So that was difficult, but um, they've been absolutely wonderful and they brought a lot of equipment down for me so I could do some, uh, some recording at home. I'm teaching myself how to use project, uh, project Logic, which I've never known how to do before. So it's a completely new experience for me, but I'm, I'm loving it. Do you yeah. think, you know, when we go back to a bit, bit more of a new normal as such, that you'll carry some of those things you've learned through and maybe do some more stuff from home and not spend so much time, you know, traveling into the studio? Well, definitely as well. And then also like maybe going to the studio because they use Logic in the studio too. I can then go by myself and do some recording by myself, which I never was able to do before. I'd always have to have someone with me because I never knew what I was doing. I'm a massive technophobe. So um, that's a really, really good lesson to have taught myself is to use that. So I can do a lot of stuff on by, by myself now and I'll spend a lot more time as well in my uni house, maybe doing music from my bedroom, which would be really cool. So we love this video that you've recorded for us, very much like yourself. It's colourful, it's powerful, we really like this. So this is your take on your track, Till the Moon Dies. I know that everything's changed, but I can't believe it. Everywhere I see your face And it's never leaving The memories we made My blue eyed boy I see them every day I will love you to move Bye. 
Just hold me tight like we used to do Ignore the tears that trickle down my face It's just water, I will be okay And nothing can stop us getting back someday Park and Pete joins us now. How are you doing, Pete? I'm good, thank you very much. How how are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay, thanks. I'm uh, trying to stay as fit as possible. I love I love the night. <laughs> what a setup! Um, so tell us a bit about your isolation situation. Who are you with? Who are you in quarantine? I'm, I'm with my family. So I've got a little girl um, who's three years old who just started preschool, and um, so we've been trying to like keep her contained the whole time. And I've been working in this little room which is like my little studio the rest of the time so yeah it's been mad I've been really hectically busy and um, just released an album as well so yeah I've actually got had loads to do I've not been bored at all. So before we touch on the album a bit what's it like trying to explain to your daughter what you know what's going on in the world do you even try or is she just oblivious to it all? She's got this little book called Dr. Dog and it talks about a virus going around the world and how people mustn't sneeze and all that kind of stuff so she's she's kind of she's getting it but she's like I want to see my friends I want to see my grandma I want to see people and she can't so yeah it's kind of weird but she's getting it slowly I think she's getting used to it. Bless, bless. And what's it been like trying to distribute your album you know do all the promo around that obviously super exciting time that's also a time you want to be out gigging and, you know, promoting everything. What's it been like doing that through lockdown? Um, yeah, it's been pretty hard, but people have been really supportive. So, I mean, I had a whole festival lineup for um, in the Netherlands in May this month. So it's kind of sad that hasn't happened. But um, I've actually really enjoyed it and people have been really, really kind and sharing the music loads. So it's kind of, you just have to adapt, don't you? So I've kind of, I've kind of enjoyed it because I'm, I'm tired sometimes of playing a lot live, so it's really, really nice to actually be able to be home loads and kind of take it a little easier. And it's been great to see you getting creative as well with our brief, so this is your take on your song, Never Let Me Down. I think I'm drifting between the head and the heart How do I know that it's you, oh, I'm listening for the faintest of thoughts Do you hear me? And I've seen and I've heard Hanging on to your words And I'm not gonna stop Cause if you'd ever let me down I feel I can hear that you want me to oh, oh. You can never let me down Ha! 
on his track never let me down so we're going to go from our singer songwriters we're going to go into a band setting now and joel and john from far from refuge join me how are you doing guys hi uh, not too bad how about yourself yeah good thanks so tell us where you are john do you want to start yeah so i am currently uh, about to move out to a new flat um yeah it's pretty nice uh, <laughs> just living in quarantine is fun and what's that moving process been like? Are you having to change a lot based on what you expected to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm not supposed to like actually interface with the movers or like the removal people. So that'll be that'll be something. I'll just point at them and run away. <laughs> and Joel, I hope you're not in too much of a tricky situation like that. No, no, I'm all good in the lovely countryside somewhere in Suffolk. Um, yeah, with with my family. Um, it's been going all right. It's obviously very different to what we're used to, but we're dealing with it and we're having a lot of fun too, so it's all good. And how are you keeping that band dynamic going through it all? Um, honestly, I spam people on Facebook Messenger literally all the time anyway, so that's 90% of how our band functions. Um, I've still been making lots of music. We're actually in the process of, well, I'm in the process of mixing our next single, so luckily we recorded that before lockdown. Um, the trouble is when it comes to doing things like videos, but as you'll see coming up, we managed to get something special together for you. Brilliant, brilliant. Looking forward to that. And tell us about the track you recorded for us. It's actually one of the last tracks that we played on the show before we went into lockdown. Tell us a bit about it. Yeah, so up until this track, um, all, all of our songs were written by myself. And this is a track that actually John started writing. Um, so it's a song called Kingdom. Um, the, the original track is obviously very heavy. And we got the ladies from Eden Vale to do some guest vocals on there too. So they really added the next sort of a, another element to the song. And it's basically a song about um, the perspective of someone who's a lost soul, who's returning to a life that they've left behind. Um, it, it, it explores a lot of feelings of anxiety, depression, sadness, but also there are happier notes too with some melodic verses, uh, melodic choruses and uh, some nice guitar solos too. And that is what we love about your tracks. And probably made it a little bit easier doing this more stripped back version. You know, a lot of your tracks are centered around that melodic chorus and they are really beautifully put together through it all. And despite being, you know, a very metal centered track. So did that make it a little bit easier doing this stripped back recording? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me at least it was, you know, it's just uh, re-recording everything, but you know, with, with an acoustic setup in mind, um, especially with, you know, Joel's vocals, as opposed to, you uh, our other singer, Sarans, who, uh, you know, provides sort of heavier vocals and screams and such. Yeah, the, the screams didn't quite work with the with the acoustic track, so we had to we had to reimagine it quite a lot. <laughs> and we're going to share it now. So this is your living room workout tape on your latest single, Kingdom.
with some chilled vibes and as all good workouts should, a bit of relaxation with Claudia Kate. How are you doing, Claudia? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Loving the baby Yoda, by the way, in the background. <laughs> My boyfriend put that there. He was like, he needs to be in the video. I was like, okay, he's not real, but <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love that. So, um, I, if I remember correctly, you were out of the country. You were actually the other side of the world when this all started kicking off. You spent a bit of time in Australia in the start of the year, didn't you? Yeah, it was super weird. I was only there for a month, but right towards the end, it was like mid-February and it was all kicking off. And I was in Singapore and everyone was in masks and they took your temperature like everywhere. But I got home just as it sort of all got really bad. But it was, yeah, it was really weird because I didn't know what it was. And I saw it in the news. I was like, what is going on? But it's all good. <laughs> on one hand, though, that must be, you know, really positive that you've been able to experience that trip while, you know, now we're in a situation where we're looking like we don't know when we'll be able to go abroad again. That must be, you know, brilliant for you to say in 2020, you know, I went to the other side of the world. I did something, you know, I achieved that. Yeah, I'm so glad I got it out of the way because it was like a complete fluke when we were going to go. Like I just sort of pulled the date out of the air. We kind of, initially it was like we should go in June. So I moaned the whole time we were there because it was raining, but I'm so glad we went when we went. Like rain aside, like I'm so lucky. And you've been so busy since you came back as well. You know, you've got a new music video for Good Mood that's out and you've been working on your album. Um, tell us a bit about that. What's that been like working on it during lockdown? It's been good. So my boyfriend's my producer, so he's moved in with us, which is nice because it's, uh, it's like nice having him here, obviously, because my boyfriend, but he's, <laughs> I put him in the other room, I'm like, go mix it. Um, so it's good. Um, we were really productive at the start. We've done like loads, but at the moment, it, you kind of, you fall off a bit because you just want to chill, but it is going really well. I'm excited to actually get it out there. And in that situation where you're working in such close proximity to your family and obviously working with your boyfriend pretty much day in, day out, you know, is there any clashes or are you man managing to stay positive so far? Um, it's been good, actually. Yeah, me and him, we get on. Like, we're fortunate that we actually man managed to work together as well as live together, so that's good. And he kind of, I clash with my mum a bit because we're so similar, but he's actually been really good at getting in there and being like, all right, lads, let's just call it off. So yeah, he, it's so good having him here. He's so chill. Love that, love that. And when can we expect the album now? You know, is this fast forwarded the album or are we looking at it taking a little bit longer? Um, I'm not sure because I kind of want to get some of my friends to sing on it because um, there's a lot of like sort of girl power bops that I want. So I want Ellie on it and Sophie and like, get them all singing. Um, so I'm thinking next year, probably early next year, but we'll see where it goes because I want to gig with it and hopefully tour a little bit. So we'll just see where it goes. Lovely. So winding down tonight with your take, a yoga chilled version of Good Mood. Take me color her space. Now you won't be me high. 
inspired you to stay fit and healthy through lockdown it's so good for your mental health as well as your physical health and do keep creating music keep sending us your tracks as much as we're off air at the minute we are loving hearing your lockdown sounds it's so important to keep the scene moving forward and thriving so keep sending your tracks to bbc.co.uk slash introducing tag us as well let us know what you're up to we're at bbc intro cams on twitter and insta and bbc music introducing on facebook so until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.